Okay, so another, you know, sort of proposal as to why people, you know, use and become dependent on particular substances is something called the, the positive reinforcement model. And this is the very basic idea that drugs, you know, make you feel good, right? And it produces, they produce this euphoria, at least initially. You know, of course, we'll talk about, you know, the specific drugs that generate these terrific euphoric kind of feel-good effects. Um, they do so often by, you know, overstimulating particular receptors that will then respond, of course, you know, via G protein, you know, coupled activity and changes in gene expression and protein synthesis so that, you know, the next time these euphoric, you know, substances are, you know, taken, um, they do, they no longer produce the same effect. You need more of the drug. You develop what's called tolerance, right? Um, and the positive reinforcement model is often um, explored using what's called uh, this progressive ratio procedure. This is actually a, um, an animal model of, you know, determining which drugs are, you know, capable of producing sort of the most euphoria, right? And the most positive reinforcement. So um, you take a rat, right? You stick it in a cage and you give it a couple of levers, okay? And one of those levers will be linked to, to delivery of the substance you're testing. Let's say it's cocaine. And here's, you know, the various doses of cocaine. Zero, no cocaine. The rat just gets, you know, saline, right? Here's a little bit of cocaine, a little more, a little more, and a little more, okay? And this is the number of times it's willing to press, you know, that bar, actually, to get a dose of cocaine. So it turns out that, you know, you initially just train the rat by continuously reinforcing it. Every time it presses the bar, it gets some cocaine. Very quickly, a rat will come right back and go, oh, I want that again, and oh, I want that again. It'll keep pressing, you know, for more of this drug. Um, but let's say you make it, you know, wait, you know, has to press 10 lever, you know, 10 presses of the lever before it gets a dose of cocaine. You know, if, if you only have a little cocaine in that delivery, right, um, it'll work to a certain level, it'll, you know, maybe 20, 20 lever presses or something, right? But if you increase the dose that it gets, it will work harder, and it will work harder, and it will work harder. So this is, at this stage where you're getting, you know, this is in milligrams per kilogram, you know, by body weight here, um, it's getting, I believe, three. Um, you will, uh, actually, it'll, it'll bar press almost a thousand times, actually, um, before it actually gets delivery of the drug. That's a pretty reinforcing substance, 